What's up everyone, Hippo TC here, and I'm so excited about this new update for the Sea of Thieves. There is a whole lot to cover, and I wanted to give you a too long, didn't read version of just the main things that you wanna be aware of. Now, before I jump into the video, I wanted to share with you a dream that I have. I wanna do this full time, but I cannot do that without your support. Everything that you see on the channel is a side hustle. I stay up super late and oftentimes get up really early to make the content for this channel channel. So if you love what you see and you want to support me, one of the best ways that you can do that is hit that subscribe button. Each sub gets me one step closer to that goal. Thank you everyone for your support. Now let's jump into the video. A too long didn't read for Sea of Thieves Ships of Fortune. You can now rep each trading company as an emissary at the beginning of a play session by voting at any of the new tables found in front of the trading companies. You earn emissary grade by acquiring treasure, bringing it to your ship, defeating skelly ships, megs, cairn, or even doing forts. The higher the grade, the more gold you get when turning loot in. Grade starts at 1 and maxes out at level 5. Leave the game, change emissaries, change ships, sink or scuttle, and your emissary grade will reset back to grade 1. Hit grade 5 and you get a special repeatable voyage that will have lots of treasure. You can also unlock costumes for each company and other exclusive cosmetics. There is a new PvP focused trading company called the Reaper's Bones. Their emissary system is a little bit different. At grade 5, instead of a special voyage, they get to see the location of all emissary ships. So keep an eye out for them, especially around the redesigned Reaper's Hideout as this is their new home. All trading companies have increased their levels to 75 and Athena has increased to 20. Also, we now have a global emissary leaderboard where pirates can show off their support on a global scale. This update introduces a new system allowing you to revive any downed crewmates. In adventure, you have 15 seconds and in arena, you have 30 seconds to start that revive. It will take a total of four seconds to complete any revive. Also, in Arena, treasure maps are now gone. Instead, there is a single chest that everyone can see at all times. Match times decrease from 24 minutes to 15, and there is now a penalty for pirates who quit matches. Other notable additions are crew status tags and cats. Crew status tags will let you see what your crew is up to from a distance, even through solid objects. Turn this on under gameplay settings. As many predicted, cats have finally been introduced into this seas. So if you've always wanted a feline friend, meows your chance. And last but not least, sword damage has increased from 20% damage per swing to 25% damage per swing, and the lunge has increased to 60% damage, which means the sword could make a comeback. So there you have it, a quick look at all the new things coming into the Sea of Thieves. Now I have videos kind of jumping in and explaining each of these things a little bit more in depth, so definitely check out those videos and let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to most. And I will see you scurvy dogs out on the seas. See ya! You got this buddy, you got this. <laughs> Use your word. Okay. Here we go. You got this. You got this.